Hello, this is JZ3 Apps, and we're going to show you Floating Draw. To begin, we're going to click the Floating Draw icon, and it pulls up this menu on the side here. Um, to begin, we can obviously just draw on the screen immediately, and we can also change the color in the palette. This is the this allows you to go through a variety of colors, and we're going to choose yellow. We're also going to change the transparency to make it a bit wider to allow us to highlight certain things. We're going to change the pixel amount to 30 pixels. As you can see here, it says 30, and also this shows the size of the icon that we're using. Um, as you can see, it changes as you increase the amount. Now we're going to select it by pressing OK. We can then draw over the floating draw here. As you can see, it's now highlighted. We can also erase around the edges to make it a little bit cleaner. And we accidentally erased a little bit too much, so we're going to undo the erase. And then we're going to erase again to fix it. Then, as you can see, it's um, erased better now. We can also select an arrow to point to floating draw. As you can see, it's pointing now. Um, after we've done that, we can clear the screen and I accidentally clicked the settings menu, but we'll show you one of the features ahead of time now. You can change the layout setting to make it landscape by clicking the bottom view. As you can see, it has a new menu on this bottom and it basically gives you more screen estate, real estate to draw with. Um, you can also close the application, then we can hide it by clicking the, I mean, we could clear the application, and then we can hide it by clicking this button with three arrows pointed to the bottom left, and we click hide here. Then we can open up the internet. We have Charlie bit my finger playing, and we're going to click play here. Then we can um, point to his finger, and as you can see, it's pointing there. It'll pause the video if you change the colors, so we're going to make it green. Um, while it's still paused, we're going to actually choose the arrow button because this doesn't really look that good. So we're going to point to his finger there. We're going to hide the application again, then we're going to play it. Um, hopefully it plays. Then we can um, draw a little bit. Um, obviously, his finger got hurt a little bit. But um, to continue the um, displaying the application, we're going to exit this screen. We can. Um, Whoops. We can um, click, open it again, and say you wanted your background to be a green color or whichever color you choose. You can fill it by clicking the fill icon. It looks like a paint bucket here. And as you can see, the screen is green. You can obviously have green over anything you want. We can open the application again by going to the notification bar. And we can um, clear it. And then we can do some more shapes. We're going to make a square. We're going to increase the size of the square to make it kind of big. And it's, as you can see, the square there. Um, to celebrate Christmas, we're going to make it green and red. And we're going to fill around the square. And as you can see, there's a little bit of empty space right inside here that isn't displayed. So you can do a variety of things to make your phone meet your needs. Um, some other features that we have are, of course, after clearing it, we have some more um, shapes like a triangle and, yeah. Um, basically, these are the features of Floating Draw Professional. Um, I would like to thank you for your time, and um, I would also like to thank my fiance for taking this video.